How's it going, Phone Lab? It's Rude Junkie here, and yes, I've got another fun FRP bypass video for you. And this is kind of a fun one, so I have to say uh, thank you to Samsung. This is the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus, and I'm going to show you what we're rocking with it and uh, just show you how to do this method. This is going to be pretty cool and pretty fun. So you can see right here, um, it says that, you know, this device is reset to continue signing to previously sync Google account, blah, blah, blah. Standard message when we have an FRP lock device, right? So here's an option that says email or phone. So I'm actually going to type in a phone number that I'm just making up, like literally on the spot, and see if it's enough digits there, maybe one more. Okay. And then if I hold down on the phone number, I can call the phone number. <laughs> yeah. So now I'm in the phone right from the, the email screen. I love it. I absolutely love it. Okay, so now if you want to keep escalating from here in the phone, um, you can go ahead into uh, messages. And then we can send a message. So we're going to send the message of my website, right? You probably all know how to get here. Uh, it's rootjunkiesdl.com. And it's going to fail because I don't have a working SIM card in this phone. Now, I can click on it and it will open up said web page. And even better than that, we can do it in the Samsung uh, internet browser, which just works a little bit better. So now we're directly in the application, okay? So from here, if you wanna keep moving in this process, we're just gonna go on to apps, and we're gonna install a bunch of different things. So what we're gonna install is we're gonna to go to the FRP folder, and the standard stuff. Now you can do this a couple different methods. I'm gonna do it this way, so we're gonna install this one. This is my FRP application, so we're gonna hit save, and then we're gonna open file, and we're going to install it okay you don't need to run this file yet um, we can also do this with the phone lab frp application if you want to go through that process but it looks like we don't have to so we're going to do this process so we're also going to install google account manager 6 save and we should go ahead and see it pop up as well once it uh, downloads there we go open file install and this is going to download Google Account Manager so that we can use the FRP Bypass application. So hit Done. And then lastly, just so we can look around and we can maneuver, Quick Shortcut Maker. So we'll go ahead and install this one. This allows us to just get into it and into the phone and really move around however we would like. Um, so that's why I'm doing this one. So we're going to open this one now that we've done all the other ones. And we're going to scroll down here until I can find Samsung Home Experience right there. And we're going to do the first one and we're going to launch it. And now we're into the phone and we have full maneuverability. And then from here, it's very simple to bypass FRP. We just launch my FRP bypass application. And the standard way, which is the three dots and sign in with browser. Hit OK. Like I said, you can get in with this same uh, phone calling and then text messaging uh, exploit and use the PhoneLab FRP uh, application. In case security changes, you can try either or. And I'll definitely give you guys, you know, you're in the section here. Just look for that video and you'll, you'll be able to use that method as well. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put in an email, whatever email I prefer. All right, so it has verified my account and added my account to the device. So that's it. From here, we just need to go ahead and do a quick reboot. Voice on. Let's not use that. That was on accident. Let's just re re restart. I did that on accident by hitting uh, power and volume up. So it's going to go ahead and restart. Hopefully, Voice Assistant isn't turned on. And we just got to go through the setup process. At this point, I've added my Google account to the device, I put in my password and it's on the device so all we should have to do is go through the setup process and we should come to the welcome screen it's really that easy like i said thanks to samsung for allowing us to make phone calls oh let me see if i can turn this off this is annoying come on dumb voice assistant there it's off okay good all right so we'll go through the uh quick terms and conditions and everything again i was connected to wi-fi already obviously this has to be on wi-fi for this to work there's my google account that was previously added in our uh, frp bypass application and also i'm just going to show you at the end of this just quickly show you 
what the device is on, what uh, security version. I'm going to say no thanks to a pin and password. You can add one if you want. You don't need to. And I just want to show you what, what Android version we're on here at the end. Shouldn't take long. We can skip doing my voice stuff. Just can't restore. That's fine. Uh, okay. I'm just trying to get through it so you guys can see the adding finishes touches. Blah, blah, blah. Who cares? Yeah, skip the Samsung account. Next, next, next. Come on. Setup Wizard can be such a pain in the neck. It's so time consuming and there's so many stinking features. Uh, I do not agree, actually. And then hit close and all done, all set. Welcome to the home screen. Blah, blah. Okay, so FRP is fully removed at this point. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go into settings and just show you again, like I said, what we're on here. So this is Android 8.0. We are on RB9 currently in this build. That's what I'm running. It should work on newer builds as well. This is technically February 1st. I need to update the firmware on this. But this is definitely a method you should check out. Use that phone number, use the phone call, and you will be into the device. It's very, very sweet. Uh, just to show you that we are officially uh, done, I'll also turn on developer options. There you go. So that just, just proves it as well. And there it is. The g955 u frp bypass on the samsung galaxy s8 hope you guys enjoy this video stay tuned for more frp bypass videos you know how i do in this uh, site here and uh, we'll catch you in the next one if you have a question please leave a comment down below